Hello everyone. So there's good news from Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft recently came out with uh, SharePoint 2016. So I'm going to show you what uh, SharePoint 2016 is. I'm going to go over some of the changes and added features and functionality. So here we have the latest release of SharePoint, SharePoint 2016. And what you're currently looking at is the team site for SharePoint 2016. So if you've used SharePoint 2013, you know that uh, you can tell it looks uh, just about the same. Uh, not a lot has changed except for the top here, this uh, black bar, which is the suit bar from Office 365. So this is the difference between uh, SharePoint 2016 and 13. You can see there's no black bar here uh, because it was not available in SharePoint 2013. So the little functionality change with the black bar is um, these apps that we have, OneDrive, Sites, and Newsfeed. So you get access to these apps which are available on, this is my Office 365 environment, so we have those uh, apps available. And um, this is my uh, team site for uh, Office 365, my SharePoint Online. And you can see it looks uh, very similar to uh, SharePoint 2016 here. So we have our apps. Um, that we get in uh, Office 365. And a little bit of functionality changes that you can see is um, there's been an addition of share, sync, upload, new, which we didn't get in uh, SharePoint 2013. So this is a documents library in SharePoint 2013, and you can see it's not here. But if we go to the documents uh, library in SharePoint 2016, you can see there's a little bit of a change. Uh, so this is uh, some of the uh, subtle changes that you will notice when using SharePoint 2016. But uh, if we go to site content, you can see that uh, not a lot has changed. Uh, we still have uh, all our lists and libraries and apps available to us. Uh, there's not a lot of addition uh, to this. Um, adding subsites is also similar. Let me go back. So as for site contents, uh, not a lot has changed. Uh, but what has changed a little bit is the administrator section and uh, the settings section. So here we have um, essentially the uh, user and the settings and uh, what's available to the user. So if I go back to SharePoint 2013, um, this was available, but uh, it's changed a, a little bit. Um, and you can see uh, things are uh, flipped. Uh, so uh, that's a, a little bit of subtle change. Uh, let's go back to uh, team site. I want to show you actually uh, the settings. So it, site settings hasn't changed also. So if you're wondering um, if there's a lot of, uh, if you have to relearn how to use SharePoint, you really don't. Um, this is uh, SharePoint 2016 was made uh, to add uh, a little bit of uh, uh, functionality changes without having to create a completely new platform. So you don't have to relearn how to use SharePoint, um, aside from having these apps, um, which essentially uh, bridge the gap between um, cloud and on-premise. Uh, so you get to use uh, cloud features with your uh, SharePoint uh, on-premise uh, uh, platform. And you get Newsfeed also, which was available before. Um, but uh, essentially, um, you have these uh, uh, apps uh, f to make it easier. For example, you can follow sites. And uh, you can actually follow, if you set it up, you can follow sites between Office 365 and uh, SharePoint 2016 on-premise. So you can have one place for you to uh, see all your followed sites, whether on cloud or on-premise. So this is essentially uh, SharePoint 2016. Um, like I said, not much has changed. Uh, if you go back to the library, you can see it's uh, uh, pretty much uh, similar. Uh, create view is similar. Uh, let me show you actually uh, the uh, settings in our uh, document library. So let me go back to documents, library, and uh, library settings. So when you're working on your list or libraries, which you will do um, heavily, um, I just want you to know that uh, it, it's pretty much the same. So you don't have to worry about um, um, learning new things. Um, you can just jump into SharePoint 2016 and start using it.
so this was SharePoint 2016. Um, I'll make more videos about uh, the hybrid uh, enhancements and improvements, some limitations. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Please subscribe and like the video. I'm gonna. I've included the webinar that we recently had uh, that goes over um, all the changes in uh, SharePoint 2016 and uh, sort of uh, what to do next uh, with uh, the uh, newest SharePoint uh, platform. Uh, so go ahead and uh, check that out, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Thank you.